días. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for coming to the University of Salamanca. To those who come from abroad and from other cities, and welcome also to the uh, education school of the university. To those who come from other parts of this campus, of this university, we are here now to open the International Conference on Technology Ecosystem for Enhancing and Multiculturality. I have the pleasure to have here with me at the table uh, um, Dr. Pilar Garcés, General Manager for Universities and Research of the Junta de Castilla León, uh, Dr. Maria Rodriguez González, uh, Director of one of our institute, UTE, and uh, Dr. Francisco García Pinago, the uh, General Chair of this conference. Uh, in the first place, I would like to give the floor to Maria Jose Rodriguez, please, Maria Buenos dias, good morning, uh, Director Amanda Corchado, Director of the University and Research of the Royal Castilla Leon, Pilar Marcés, Conference Chair, Professor Garcia Peñalbo, Professor Sean Collins of the Institute John, uh, Doctoral Studies and Research and Technical Staff from the Research Groups uh, of Education, Computer Science, Medicine, Communication, Religions. And all of you four have come from other university and institutions of Spain, Europe, and Latin America to participate in the fourth a team meeting. As a host, I welcome you uh, the Institute for the Educational Research of the University of Sao. Ahora en español. <laughs> Por fin, hemos llegado a la cuarta edición anual de esta conferencia internacional y volvemos a retomar la responsabilidad de su organización. Después del exitoso tercer team que organizó el Instituto Politécnico de Porto, que nos asista gracias a Gustavo Ángel. Con este nuevo evento internacional, el IUCE se sigue consolidando como un centro de referencia en investigación y educación dentro del conocido como Sociedad del Conocimiento y que ha sido capaz de reunir con una conferencia cada vez mayor a un grupo de investigadores en torno a varias y diversas líneas de investigación. El IUCE se destaca, si destaca por algo, es por su una singularidad, que es la interdisciplinariedad, en el tratamiento del fenómeno educativo mediado por la tecnología. Y además está formado por un grupo de investigadores que intenta, con gran esfuerzo cada día, trabajar de manera cooperativa a pesar de las distintas estructuras metodológicas de investigación de cada uno de nosotros. Y a pesar de ello continuamos promoviendo un grupo de investigación caracterizado por una real, verdadera interdisciplinaridad. A menudo y normalmente en contextos tanto interuniversitarios como internacionales. La semana pasada, en una videoconferencia que, con estudiantes y profesores desde Chiapas, México, que nos preguntaban al profesor García Peñalbo y a mí, ¿por qué podría ser atractivo para un joven investigador realizar una estancia de investigación en el instituto? La respuesta fue precisamente por esto, por este carácter interdisciplinar en el tratamiento de la investigación en contextos de educación y que es difícil encontrar en la realidad en otros lugares. Por otro lado, evidencia del trabajo realizado por el Instituto es el aumento en el número de proyectos de producción de resultados presentados en buena parte en esta cuarta conferencia aquí que ya tenéis en vuestra mano, los que se hayan escrito en el Proceding Group del Congreso. Nos encontramos, por tanto, ante este reto, una nueva forma de entender la investigación en educación, en una educación permanente, una educación a lo largo de la vida, en un contexto nuevo que es la sociedad del conocimiento. Es una sociedad ahora caracterizada por la multiculturalidad, y donde los ecosistemas tecnológicos se integran para facilitar el aprendizaje y para hacerse cada vez más invisible, pero sin los que es imposible progresar en la actualidad. Esta forma de entender la investigación en educación constituye el sentido de este encuentro y el eje dinamizador de este centro de investigación aplicada, el INCE. La misión de los que trabajamos de forma activa para este instituto es apoyar a nuestra universidad, a nuestra comunidad, país, a Europa, en esta nueva estrategia y más de más sí, en la que nuestro esfuerzo como investigadores se basa en la innovación y en la búsqueda de eficiencia, en la utilización de recursos limitados y a los que debemos sacar el máximo rendimiento en un escenario global, cambiante e interconectado a todos los niveles. Las distintas políticas científicas europeas, el horizonte 2020, las experiencias de los plan, o estrategias de ciencia y tecnología del INECO, la estrategia de investigación e innovación de la Junta, nacionales, nacionales e internacionales, nos están obligando a ello. To finish off, uh, and as uh, director of this institute, I would like to thank you all for uh, your work, and especially this team on young researchers and technicians in computer science, communication, design, education. 
who have dedicated themselves, body and soul, to the organization uh, of this event, so that everything will work out as planned. Thank you very much. Thank you for the words, my observer. Now I will give the floor to Francisco. Vice President for Research and Technology Transfer, Universities and Research Head of the Regional Government, Head of the Research Institute for Educational Science, dear friends, good morning for everyone. First of all, it's my pleasure to give uh, my most friendly welcome to everyone. Uh, I hope you will enjoy this uh, fourth edition of this in conference. Uh, the hospitality of our first in space, the uh, faculty of education, with the with the Ms. Dean is here with us. Thank you very much for giving the prop to stay here. Also the Research Institute for Educational Science and the spirit of our Oasis University and of course the special attraction of our city. Ten years ago this company was born in this research institute. It means a new way to organize an academic conference. By the way, we wanted to maximize the creation of a research community around the knowledge society topic. From, the, from an interdisciplinary perspective, with a special link with a new PhD program that started also three years ago. Uh, for us, uh, we want to give our PhD students uh, an opportunity to make a networking with other fields and to be in contact with consolidated researchers all around the world. This year, uh, uh, this conference was held in the ICEP of Porto, Instituto Politécnico de Portugal, and it means a significant quality and material improvement for, for the conference. We have the first two editions here in Salamanca, and it started a new cycle of one year out in Salamanca and one year in Salamanca. <coughs> Our hosting friends did a marvelous work that is still going with the last special in the essence of the universe. Tools for my research group, it's a big pleasure for thinking conference again because it is our little son that returns to home and we have made our more personal efforts to receive it and also the family that uh, comports the Some data about the, the conference. Uh, the international acceptation of this conference has broken all our expectations and we wait more than uh, 200 people during these three days. We have received uh, 235 submissions of which uh, 165 have been, have been accepted as two papers and are available in the opinions of the conference. <laughs> All of the submitted papers were at least double being done <coughs> review, and these papers have been organized in 16 thematic tracks. This means we have uh, 384 authors distributed by seven, uh, 27 countries. Besides, the International Program Committee has been granted up to 189 members distributed by 26 countries. In addition, this year the conference also serves as host for several activities that run in parallel to the main conference. In support, activities and dissemination events carried out by the SNOLA, the Spanish Network of Learning Analytics, that organized two different workshops. Also, team conference hosts a, a workshop related with uh, digital humanities, and this workshop is carried out in conjunction with the co with a cost European project. We, all, uh, we also have a very interesting track about computational thinking in the university, in the university education uh, related or, uh, with other European projects that is called Tackle uh, Free COVID. And finally, just after this open session ends, we will officially present and start the Horizon 2020 project 
coordinated by the, my research group, the University of Salamanca, with a short keynote speaker that is on my left side is Dr. Uh, Nick Kerman. Well, just to close my intervention, I want to finish uh, thanking you again for staying here. But I, can, I cannot conclude without thanking also the conference committees and the chairs, and especially my team, for their huge effort to make this reality. Thank you very much. Thank you, John, for the words. And it is my great pleasure to share this moment with all of you um, who are participating in this event. The reason that we are all gathered here this morning. Over the next few hours, experts from the University of Salamanca, from other organizations, will uh, uh, share the knowledge what they have been uh, working about in the past few months or years with all of us. And, uh, especially on fields like or such as uh, technology, education, and multiculturality. And also, along this morning, I think a project, an H2020 project coordinated from, by, by uh, staff of each university will be presented for us, uh, for the University of Salamanca. Uh, quality of education is one of our foundations and since uh, <coughs> that uh, to host event, events like, like this one at this uh, school, one of uh, our reference faculties at the University of Salamanca is a great honor and pleasure. And I would like to thank the dean of this school, thank you very much, Angel, for hosting this event, the people who have been working on it, the, who, uh, they started with this idea from the beginning, Say, Fran, thank you very much, and also your big uh, research group who are very much involved, not just on this project that you are running here today, but in many others, and uh, especially all of you, which are the most important people always in the conference, the attendees who are going to not just uh, be here to, to learn what the others, what others have done, but also to present your, your work. And finally, I know that Pilar has uh, made a big effort to be here with us. He, he, she is a very busy person, important to, to all of us. Thank you very much, Pilar, for uh, your effort for being here with us. And now, uh, I just want to give the floor to Pilar, so she will tell us a few things. Thank you. So I'm really happy to be here, be, um, sharing this table with uh, two directors and one, uh, one vice chancellor. So um, I'm not a busy person. I mean, I'm one of the researchers in the university of course, we understand the importance of this. And uh, I just want to say that uh, from the Ministry of Education of our regional area, we are going also to be supporting this kind of events. And um, also, it is very important for us, and especially for me, to meet you, because we are being, or we are going to do a big effort in order to uh, start improving, enhancing uh, the e-learning in our uh, educational system in, in our region, in Castilla León. We are quite proud to say that the educational system in Castilla León, especially the, the pre-university one, is quite good. And uh, we actually care for what all the teachers can do in both uh, primary and secondary schools. And one of our objectives is that they have the technological knowledge in order to implement digital learning in their school. So I think this particular event is very, very important for us. And um, even though I should congratulate you at the end of these uh, three years, uh, sorry, not three years, three days that you're going to be together, um, I want to congratulate you now because you actually could put up together so many people here, so many researchers and so many scholars who are actually um, contributing for the enhancements of uh, this kind of technological tools applied to learning. Because in our society, I heard once, I don't know, it was someone very important, but I don't really want, I don't really like quoting people because sometimes you find all these quotes on the internet, and that's not a very original thing to say. But I remember that someone told me once that technology is a powerful tool, but we have to know how to use it. 
So it can give us a hand to go ahead to the future, but it can also stop our it can also stop in our backs. Because we have to be very careful when we use technology. It's a very important tool, and we have to make the effort to especially train teachers to use it properly. And I think I saw in all the tracks we're going to go through during these three days, I would like to go to all of them, I really would want to, because my specialty is humanities, philology. And I can see, for example, that some of you are going to talk about uh, digital humanities, also going to talk about the uh, implementation or the improvement of health and doctoral in, in doctoral cases, in, uh, in medical cases. Uh, you're going to have engineering, you're going to have lang uh, language learning, you're going to have um, um, uh, especially educational activities for and, and workshops in order to implement all this e-learning. And I think it's, it's, it's really a fantastic way to implement all this different communication because one thing we have uh, to uh, always remember, never, never forget to take into account, is that the way we communicate is very important and we have to learn new ways of communication. But it's more important what we have to say. And that is something that we can't forget. That when we say something, we have to actually say it to people, address people, conveying some meaning, conveying something. And only we as human beings with our brains can do that. Technology is just a tool. It will help us, but we have to know how to use it. And I think that is one of the things that they are doing here in this institute, and they are doing here in all the research groups. And I really want to congratulate them for uh, all they are going to achieve. And I know that they are going to present us another project. They are going to have age 2020, so it's going to be very important for us to continue. And the only thing I would like to know or to say here is just to uh, say that I'm very happy to be here, to, to have you here. Uh, thank you also for, to the Faculty of Education for hosting this uh, great event. And uh, I just want to wish you the best of successes. I know that probably they're going to publish this uh, later on, the proceedings and all that. So I'll be very happy and eager to learn and to read what you have done with all the things that you have been learning. This is very important also, all the words that you use in your team. I hope that me being uh, like a linguist, I would like to play the words and say that I hope you will be teaming with enthusiasm to work in teams. Uh, so because that is something that is very important uh, and, uh, to, to work in teams in that kind of interdisciplinarity and multiculturality that we have uh, said here. So thank you for coming here, thank you for being here, thank you for inviting me here to share with you all these things and uh, I wish you a very successful, uh, a very successful uh, conference here with all the workshops and I hope that what you have in common will be shared but also what you have different will be understood. Okay, so thank you for being here and the great process to all. Thank you. Thank you.